Imagine a world where you're the last of your kind, no family, no mate, no hope for the future of your species. This was the reality for one extraordinary creature, Lonesome George, the last Pinta Island tortoise. To reach the Galapagos, you first fly to Ecuador, then take a plane to these isolated islands, stepping into a land where creatures have evolved without human interference for millions of years. And no story here is more haunting than that of one creature, Lonesome George, the last of his kind. On a remote island in the Galapagos Archipelago, a solitary giant once roamed. This species had survived for millions of years, outlasting the dinosaurs only to face its greatest challenge, humans. This is a story of Lonesome George, a journey of survival, loss, and the incredible mark one animal can leave on the world. From living in obscurity to becoming a global symbol, George's life sparked a movement that made us all rethink our role in protecting nature. This story forces us to face the consequences of how we treat the planet and reminds us that even one life can make a huge difference. In this video, we'll uncover the history of the species, the factors that led to their decline, and the extraordinary efforts to save them. But more than that, that, we'll explore what George's story means to us and for the countless species still facing extinction. And get ready for a journey that will challenge your perception of extinction and inspire you to take action for our planet in the future. Please hit that subscribe button to show your support and to be informed for videos like these that help support us to create them. The Pinga Island tortoise, scientifically known as Chalinoidus apingdoni, once thrived on the northernmost island of the Galapagos archipelago. These gentle giants could grow up to 500 pounds, with dome-shaped shells and long necks adapted for reaching vegetation. For centuries, these tortoises shaped Pinga's ecosystem. They were nature's gardeners, dispersing seeds and maintaining the island's delicate balance. But their peaceful existence was about to be shattered. In the 1800s, whalers and fur sealers discovered the Galapagos, they saw the tortoises not as a magnificent creature, but as living canned food for their long voyages. Pinta's location made it an ideal stop for ships, and its tortoises' population paid the price. By the early 20th century, the Pinta tortoise was believed to be extinct, another casualty of human exploration. But sometimes, nature has a way of surprising us. The world had all but forgotten about the Pinta tortoise. But on a fateful day, Hungarian scientist Joseph Vagvuga was studying snails on Pinta Island when he stumbled upon something extraordinary, a lone tortoise, alive and well. And the news from this discovery spread like wildfire. In 1972, a team from the Galapagos National Park Service ventured to Pinta, their mission to rescue this living fossil and bring him to safety. The tortoise was transported to Charles Darwin Research Facility on Santa Cruz Island. Here, he was given the name that would become famous around the world. Lonesome George. It was a nod to a comedian named George Goebel, known as Lonesome George. But for our tortoise, the name carried a much deeper meaning. Scientists estimated George to be around 60 years old at his time of discovery. He was healthy, but alone. The last known member of his species and the race was on to find him a mate to save the Pinta tortoise from the brink of extinction. For the next 40 years, Lonesome George would call the tortoise breeding and rearing center his home. His caretakers, led by Fausto Jelena, worked tirelessly to ensure his well-being and comfort. But George's life wasn't just about preservation. It was about hope. Scientists scouted the world's zoos, searching for any pinta tortoises that might have been exported long ago. They analyzed the DNA of similar looking tortoises, hoping to find a match. Despite their efforts, no pure pinta tortoise was ever found. In a last ditch effort, researchers introduced George to two female tortoises from Wolf Volcano on Isabella Island. Their species was thought to be closely related to the pinta tortoise. But despite years of attempts, George George never successfully mated. As time went on, George became more than just a tortoise. He became a symbol of extinction, of conservation, and of the fragility of life on our planet. Thousands of visitors flocked to see him each year, leaving with a newfound appreciation for the importance of protecting endangered species. While George lived in relative comfort, his home island of Pinta faced its own struggles. In 1959, fishermen released three goats on the island, seeking source of fresh meat for their long voyages. It was a decision that would have devastating consequences. Those three goats multiplied rapidly. By 1970, their population had exploded 
exploded to an estimated 40,000. These invasive herbivores devoured the island's vegetation, destroying crucial tortoise habitat in the process. It wasn't until the late 1990s that a concerned effort was made to address this problem. Project Isabella, a massive conservation incentive, used Penta as a training ground. Through tireless work, the last goat was finally eliminated in 2003, and Penta was declared goat-free. But the damage was done. The island that George once called home had been fundamentally altered. The story of Penta Island serves as a stark reminder how quickly ecosystems can be disrupted and how challenging it can be to restore them again. As the years passed, George's health remained relatively good, though he did face some challenges. At one point, he became severely overweight, prompting his caretakers to put him on a special diet. But on June the 24th, 2012, the unthinkable happened. Fausto Yerena, the same ranger who had helped rescue George decades earlier, found him stretched out in his coral, showing no signs of life. Lonesome George, the past Penta Island tortoise, had passed away at an estimated age of over 100 years old. As we end our journey with Lonesome George, remember the words inscribed outside his former enclosure. Whatever happens to this single animal, let him always remind us that the fate of all living things on earth is in human hands. The story of extinction doesn't have to be the story of our future. With awareness, commitment and action, we can ensure that no species suffers the same fate as the Pinta Island tortoise. Let George's memory inspire us to create a world where no creature has has to be lonesome ever again. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Lonesome George's legacy. Remember, every action counts. So, what will you do to make a difference?